Hello everyone, I hope you are doing great. Today we are going to see how to calculate the mean, the standard deviation, and even the overall mean of Likert scale uh, using just Excel because many students do not have spaces and researchers do not have spaces, so the result to Excel as the uh, best choice. So I'm going to show you how to, to do that using Excel. So by the way, I have Excel 2016, you can do it in newer versions or even older versions. So it doesn't matter. I'm going to go to, for example, here, going to calculate the mean. So I'm going to uh, select this uh, cell here uh, in the age group or age variable. And I'm going to go to functions and then choose average and for the mean and then click OK. And it's going to tell me the selection from uh, cell 1 to cell 40. And uh, going to click yes okay and then what I'm going to do to apply this to the other variables so here I have a categorical variable it doesn't matter so I'm going to just select this like uh, in this way so just follow with me so I can select it uh, click on uh, the left of the mouse and then drag it and drop it so here we keep clicking on uh, the left uh, button in the mouse. So anyway, uh, here we can ignore this one. We can delete it. It doesn't matter. Clear cut it. Or just this one. Select it first and click clear content. So it doesn't matter. Then uh, what I'm going to do next for the standard. So this is the, for the mean. And therefore, the standard deviation, what I'm going to do again, I'm going to click this cell and uh, select this cell and then go to functions and then choose the uh, standard deviation. So STD. So here it's standard deviation. So I'm going to click OK and then select E1 to E41. Here I'm going to choose just E40, not E41. OK, so click OK and then, then apply this to the whole range of data. That's it. And then I'm going to decrease the decimals by going to this icon here. And so this is for increasing it and this is for decreasing it. So I just need two places. Anyway, so this is for the standard deviation. What about uh, the overall uh, mean? If I want to calculate the overall mean here, uh, what I'm going to do first, I have to select cell any, uh, you know, in any place in the Excel. Let's choose this place, and we need to move this one a little bit, just to adjust it here. Okay, by clicking on it, right click, copy, and then paste. Let's paste values. It doesn't matter. So then I'm going to go to this cell and then choose the function of average. And then I'm going to average all this together and click OK. And this is the overall uh, mean. But there is a problem because I, I included the age variable. So I need to keep cleaning the data. So that uh, I can do it uh, properly. So what I'm going to do again, so let's just copy these values here and paste them to another place. Okay. And then let's go to remove the this one by deleting it. So this is the, the mid H participants so we should go here and then do this save that is the average and select everything and click OK to calculate the overall mean just make sure that this is correct so so I should uh, remove this one again so it will calculate it automatically so this is the overall mean I'm going to decrease the values here 
So this is the way we can do it. You have to find ways to do it. Uh, you have to be creative some sometime. So this is all. If you have questions or remarks, do not do not hesitate to post them below in the comment section or try to contact me directly via WhatsApp or email and see you in another tutorial.